Good morning everyone. I am here to do a quick intro for the video. I've actually filmed a few parts of the different SunRev bags that I have and some of you have asked to see what can fit in each bag as well as the I think Aria belt bag more specifically. So I filmed uh, bits and pieces and I'll, I'm, I'm putting them all together now. I, I'm back from Vegas. It's been a really relaxing trip So I actually took one of the bags with me and my friend took the other one and so I can Insert photos here as well to show you what they look like All right, so to can kind of compare what we have and what goes and can fit in each of the bags I decided to do a comparison with all of the sizes that I have I have the Aria belt bag, which is my smallest. I have two of those, but I only have one because they're the same size. And then here we have the Maestra Mini and then the Maestra Midi. And I'll try to do sizes in comparison for all of them. Now, I have a few items that I think are kind of, you know, items that a lot of people would have in their collection and would maybe want to put in these bags. So right here I have like a card holder. I have my cell phone, which is the Pixel 2. I have a long wallet from Louis Vuitton. And then I have the Fire tablet from Amazon. And then the iPad. And then also the Surface 3 from Microsoft. So I'll just give you a, a measurement of each one of these items and hopefully that will help with what it looks like inside the bags and I'll put everything inside the bags. All right, so the wallet is the smallest item that I have here and this measures about four and a half inches. Four and a half inches by three inches and there's not much um, depth, but yeah, three inches, I think, yep, right there. And then my cell phone is about two and three quarter of an inch by five and a half inches. Now, oh, sorry, five and a half inches. Now this one is, there is a little bit of a depth, but I don't think it's, it's like less than half an inch. So this is the Emily wallet, but it's like a lot of the longer wallets from Louis Vuitton. And so the width is about seven and a half inches and the height is three and a half, and then, I don't know, it's maybe like half an inch to maybe an inch, depending on how much you fill this one. Next, we have the tablet. This is the Amazon tablet, and I have a case on it, as you can see. Um, you can also take out the case, but I, I just have it on there. And the measurement of this one is about five inches maybe a little bit more, maybe five and a quarter inch by eight and a half inches. And then the depth, I, I don't know, I would say maybe half an inch deep uh, right there. Then we have the Apple iPad right here. Um, I'm not quite sure what generation this is, but this is what it looks like and, and it, has, um, it has a removable flap case thing. And then I'll just show you really quick. The dimensions of this one is seven inches by nine and a half inches. And then the depth, I don't know, maybe like a quarter of an inch. And finally, the biggest thing I have here that I think would fit in these bags is this one. And this is my Surface 3 from Microsoft. And it is seven and a half inches by 10 and a half inches. And then the depth is about half an inch. So in terms of um, sizing, you can see that the surface is just a tad bit bigger than the my uh, Apple iPad. And then by comparison to that, the tablet is a little bit smaller than all of those, as you can see. All right. So I'll just show you what I can fit in each one of these. Now, of course, as you can see, all three of these have the same similar face, which is the snap closure. And then you lift this little tongue and then it opens up like this. This one doesn't have a zip because it's supposed to be like a really small handheld bag or belt bag. And I'll just show you the card holder can fit nicely in there. 
and then cell phone can fit nicely in there and you still have space for other things um let me see if i i have like a just like a glass case a, a glasses case and i think that would also uh, i don't know that one looks a little bit I think that one, if you had a smaller, it will fit, but you can see that it's very, very bulging. And it will fit if you have a, a thinner uh, glasses case, but this one's kind of on the thick side. So there's not much that could fit in there. I could probably fit like tissue, chapstick, lipstick, and everything. But um, in terms of this, I would say that's the max. The wallet won't fit in there, as you can see. It's quite tight, it won't fit in there. You can probably fit a compact wallet, however. And like I said, even with the phone and the the wallet, the card holder, you could easily fit other things um, like chopstick, lipstick, keys, and everything else in here. So some of you have asked what can fit in this bag and I wanted to make sure I fill it up to the max so that you can kind of see what I can fit in there. So right now it's packed very very full and um this is what it looks like i have things i mean I, it looks like i still have a little bit of space if i wanted to add something else right here um and yeah I'll, i can show you how to utilize the space better but i can just show you kind of what i have in here i have my louis vuitton emprunt leather clay and so this is the pretty big one and you can put a lot of stuff in it so yeah, this one, it's also pretty thick, as you can see. It's not even fully filled, but you could definitely fit more than this. But I have it kind of minimally, a few cards in here. And then also in here are a few things. Uh, I have a lip gloss from Dior. And then I have a hand lotion. This is the travel one from Crabtree and Evelyn. And then I also have a purse hanger right here, as well as a few packs of hand wipes. And then at the bottom there, as you can see, sorry I'm standing in the light, you can see a full eyeglass case, hard case. So let me take that out. And this one does take up a ton of stuff, but I just wanted to show you that you could fit that in there. Now. If I wanted to have even more items in here, I could potentially minimize the amount of items I put. For example, instead of carrying a key clay, I can now put in the cards along this front slot or front area right here. There's two slots right here. Alternatively, I can also slip my cards here, cash here, so that I don't need to bring this. I can also put in a soft case uh, sunglasses instead of this hard case and it'll fit a lot more. So if I were to do the same thing and, you know, without those, pretend I have cards in here and here, I could put in the chapstick or lip gloss, sorry, and lotion. So I'm doing this one handed, so it's a bit harder. Put all the stuff back in there. Oh, I didn't have my phone in there earlier, but this is the Pixel 2. As you can see, lots of space. And then I can put my soft case in there as well. And it'll close no problem. But say you really had to take the hard case, so you can have that at the bottom. And then um, you can put your lotion, lip gloss. It's kind of a mess because I'm just tossing it in there. And just pretend the cards are in there so that you don't need a card case or anything. You can still fit everything in there, see, with more, more to spare. So depending on what you need, you can definitely fit a lot of things and yeah. So that's the side look. It's not overly full and you can see that if you looked inside, you can still put more stuff. It's a little disorganized because I'm doing it one handed, but you could put in hard 
eyeglass sunglass case and it will still fit your phone it will still fit a lot of items and yeah that's what makes this such a versatile and nice bag the more comparable items are actually these two because they have a lot more similar size and um i guess i'll just move start with this one this one is the mini size, and as you can see, it is convertible into a crossbody or shoulder bag, as well as a backpack if you pull those two straps. And this one, um, I'll try to do dimensions. Actually, I'll leave the dimensions below. Those are more accurate, but just like off the bat here, I can tell you that this one at the widest is probably about 12 about 12 inches at the widest but at the bottom it's more like maybe nine and a half and then the height height is about eight inches whereas this one sorry i think i'm in the way um whereas this one let's see the width is about more like 13 inches at the, at the longest and then about 10 and a half and then the height is nine and a half. The depth of this one is at the at the long at the deepest is about five and three quarters. And the depth of this one is five and, and a half. So the the size how deep it is it's definitely about almost the same but you can see side by side that this one is definitely um, on the bigger side um compared to this so let me just try to fit items in here so that you can see what they look like now this one has a back like this and so does the other uh the mini and i'm gonna start with the smallest tablet i have and that fits perfectly in there, no problem. And you can snap this shut, okay? So you can see that. And then um, if I wanted to, I could also put it in, this, in the center here, of course. And then here's the I, Apple iPad. The Apple iPad will not fit in the back slip pocket, but you could still fit it into this middle compartment and it will still close fine. So the only problem with putting this in the middle compartment is that now the the inside space is kind of all taken up, like it's cut in half. So you could do it. And the last thing I have here is the Surface 3. And while you could shove it in there it won't fit in all the way because um the the width tapers so like you can see like it's wider up here than down here so it won't fit so this one actually won't fit even in the middle compartment another thing i wanted to show you is i have a bottle of water right here this one is smart water and it is not the biggest one that they have this one is a 500 um, ml or 16.9 fluid ounces so it's not the biggest but if i put it in here you can see it will it will fit um, especially if it's like hanging off to the side and you don't zip it all the way um i have another water bottle that i have that's not one of these and um it's one of those travel ones and they it does fit in here and i think that one is um that one's more like a 12 ounce container it might actually be 14 ounces but it does fit in here so let's let's look at this one really quick um it has the same front and then a slip pocket back here the fire tablet will definitely fit there with plenty of space but what i noticed as you can see already this comes down and won't stay up it like even if i held it this way like wh where it's just sitting there there's no way to keep this closed unless I snap it, which is annoying um, because I think you need, if there's nothing in it, it's fine. Anything you put in it, even if it's not full, it will fold out. So that's kind of on the annoying side. Um, so the Apple iPad will fit nicely in there. Again, it's, it does the same thing. It just pops open. So you have to snap it shut uh, in order to close it. Um, and then finally, the, the Surface and the surface does fit in here, um, but it's very uh, snug, as you can see, but it does fit in there, and you could, can I snap it? Let's 
see. Yes, I could snap it. So it will fit the surface right there. And you could also obviously fit more stuff like, you know, um, my wallet in there. And if I have the water bottle, again, the like, it'll fit in here, no problem. You can, cl you can even zip it shut. Um, well, it zips shut to this side, but yep, no problem there. You can, of course, put this in the middle as well um, because the middle compartment is bigger than this back compartment. But like I said, if you do that, you end up taking up like half of the bag. You cut out half of the bag's um, capacity. So clearly all three of these will fit in the midi but it won't fit in the mini. The only one that could fit in the mini in the back pocket is the tablet, uh, sorry, the fire tablet. And if you want to fit the iPad, you could fit it, but only in the middle compartment, um, not in the back slip. But what I do like better about this one, and I don't know if it's because it's smaller, it doesn't come down as much, it doesn't come down in the center as much as the bigger one. See, even without it snapped, it doesn't take up all of the space um, in this, with the flap coming out. The other one does. I don't know why. I'm going to try to get an answer from them soon about whether this, the one that I got was a defect or if that's just because um, of how it is. So I also wanted to show you, I have the long wallet from Louis Vuitton, the Emily wallet, and that one fits easily in here. No problem. As you can see, lots of space. And um, if I wanted to, I could put my phone in one of these slip pockets right here like that. There are many slip pockets, but they will all fit. And then there's also a zipper pocket up front here. And again, I could fit my phone easily in there. No problem. There's lots of space. I think I can easily fit my wallet, card holder, glasses, sunglasses in here. No problem. As you can see, there's still lots of space. And because that fits so easily in the mini, the same will obviously do it, uh, will do the, for, the, for the midi. And the midi, like if I put my wallet in there, it's just like a drop in the bucket. There's like nothing in there. Like I, or nothing like, it's like you could fit so much in here that it's, it, yeah. There's still tons of space. And of course my phone will fit in one of these slip pockets, no problem. Um, there are many slip pockets here, so you can see that right there. My phone slipped right in there. So um, yeah, I hope I hope this was helpful. I obviously could fill this a lot more, and depending on you know what I decide that I need this bag for, I will I will have to use a different size. A let's say a laptop, so a 13 inch will not fit in here. I I've tried and it won't. I think if depending on what what kind what like type of how thick your 13 inches, you might be able to fit it across here. But I think it's going to be pushing it. And like I said, even if you did, it'll take up too much of the space that it it may not even be worth it. So I think if you really wanted to put a laptop in here, you definitely have to go for the regular, which is the largest size, or you could go for another bag. Now I've also looked at other options and I saw that there was a tote called a Voya tote and I might actually try that one out because as as much as I like the con a, a, a ability to convert uh, both bags into backpacks because when you carry things as a backpack it is a lot lighter I've noticed that it does look really odd on me especially the midi size because of how big it is if I wear it on my shoulder as a backpack it's passable but on the shoulder or crossbody it looks like <laughs> it looks really, really big, uh, and I'm 5'1". This one, on the other hand, is still acceptable in size, but it obviously will only fit these two items, and it won't fit the surface. And since n neither of these will fit a laptop, I definitely will have to find another option in, in a laptop. So I might look into the Voya tote, and I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, I hope it, th this will help. Just to show you what I fit inside my bag during my vacation that I just came back from, um, inside we have, okay, I did not bring a laptop or a tablet, so I slipped my, uh, 
Louis Vuitton wallet in here, as you can see. And then I kept it closed so that I could divide. And then this is where I put my charger as well as my um, kind of headphones in there. And then I also have a small water bottle. Right now I replaced it with a different bottle because I finished my water bottle. And then I have a pair of sunglasses in here. Let's see if I can catch the light sunglasses in here i have tissue pack i have my chapstick in there on this side i have some hand wipes and some you know pills in case i have a tummy ache a pen and then there's another chapstick here and i believe in this zippered pocket i also have um other like feminine products i think in there um but you see i can also fit my scarf which i've taken out already to sh so that you could see this this area better but the scarf will fit like right here. I've been slipping my phone in the back here for easy access and usage. So yeah. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. If you want to see more comparison of what else can fit in there, let me know and I'll try to make those. But I think this should be, this should give you a pretty good idea of what will fit and um, what you can use each bag for. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.